look, you're just 18 years old. You made a million dollars on Snap in just a couple of months. You've got 5.4 million followers on TikTok. When and how did you realize that you could make this much money and potentially turn this into a career? Yeah, you know, it. I think that it's hard for anyone to imagine that social media can become such a career. Like, it's, it's absolutely insane. And I think over this past year especially, I started getting lots of brand deals. Brands would either email me, direct message me. And since then, I've been able to work with these huge, huge companies and make money from it. And with Snapchat, I mean, over a million dollars in six weeks. That is unheard of. I don't think I could have ever imagined that in a million years. So it's crazy. Wow, uh, crazy indeed. How does creating for TikTok compare to Snap and to Instagram and to YouTube? I mean, all of these companies are competing for your time. Do you have a favorite? Um, I definitely started off with TikTok and creating short form videos through TikTok. And that's how I, I kind of grew my platform. But I mean, the main strategy I've been working with my management team at the network effect is diversification and spreading throughout all of the platforms. So I definitely think that TikTok is my largest following, but I love them all. And especially with Snapchat, with their new short form feature, I think all of the apps are starting to become more and more like TikTok and like the, the short form video platforms, which I love. So I don't know if I have a favorite. <laughs> <laughs> That's very diplomatic. Um, let's talk <laughs> about TikTok in particular, because obviously the platform has helped make a lot of normal everyday people famous. Do you work with them at all, with the company at all? What is your relationship with TikTok? So yeah, I mean, I've definitely emailed back and forth with TikTok. Um, I don't have, I think with the other platforms, I've been able to go into meetings with them and learn about the features. I haven't had quite that opportunity with TikTok, but I've been on TikTok since it was Musical.ly. So I know the platform very well. And um, the main way I do get brand deals is the brand will direct, they'll direct message me, they'll reach out to me or my management team. So that's how I definitely get the brand deals. But um, yeah, I mean, every once in a while. <laughs> so yeah, let's talk about the, the sponsorships, how those come in, companies like Amazon, the Disney Channel. Um, you know, how does it all work? What are your highest paid sponsorships? What more can you tell us? So my, I think that it really depends on the deliverables, how many videos I'm making for the brand. Is it over an extended period of time? So now I've been working with, for example, Amazon is definitely one of the higher paying companies because I'm working with them through like a really long period of time. And I hopefully will continue working with them throughout college as well. So I think the longer the, um, the long-term relationships with the companies, those are going to be the highest paying ones like Ipsy, like Case Defy, um, Amazon. I've done some with the Disney channel. And also what's great about forming these long-term relationships is once I have a close relationship with a brand or an agency, they'll continue to reach out to me if they have another company that wants to work with me or another product. So that's definitely been the way I've made the most money. And do you have an agent? Do you have someone who's advising you on your side? So I have a management team with the network effect. I don't have an agent, but they kind of do it all. So they've been super helpful with helping me manage emails and all the brand deals and just scheduling because I am in high school still and I'm going to be going to college. So it definitely, it's not a one person job anymore. I definitely do need some help with just managing it all. So you are, you are planning to go to college. That was my next question. I wonder, do you feel at all like you don't have to and what is your long-term plan? Yeah, so education is really important to me and I think my plan has always been to go to college and some people might think I'm crazy for going to college, but I think that, I mean, this is all happening so fast and I have an LLC now. There's still a lot I need to learn when it comes to business. So I got into the business school at Penn State and I'm gonna continue to study business and marketing. And also I would, I'm really interested in film and communications as well. Congratulations, Katie, that, that's good Thank to hear. You. <laughs> you know, last question, what's your advice 
to other young people out there, folks who are watching this and want to know how can they do this or can they do this? It really is possible for anyone. And it's always crazy when people call me famous or people react to me in crazy ways because to me, I'm just a, I'm a normal person. I'm just Katie. And so, I mean, it really can happen to anyone. And I think just sticking with it, putting in the work, putting in the effort, there are huge rewards. So hop on social media, any of these platforms, there is money to be made in. It's a career.